Okie dokie, artichokey. Ready to rock and rolly. How we look and how we. Oh, the, the color the lighting went weird again. One second. I'm still here though. I just want to fix. Is that the right one? Yes. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't fix that otherwise. Alright. Well, hello everybody. Today, we are crocheting, well, I don't have any here, so, but I do have a picture. We are crocheting, no wait, oh, it is on the screen, right there. A little, a tiny, uh, there's some tiny bumblebees, and a queen bee, and maybe a hive, I don't know. We might get to it, we might not, I'm not really sure yet. But, hello everybody, welcome to Sunday crochet along live streams with club crochet Louie here we go um you know it's, I'm surprised I really haven't had that much coffee but I feel like I've had a lot of coffee um so I'll just wait a second and then I'll have some more coffee yeah so I changed the the layout a little bit so that it looks like when I'm looking at the chat this is my plan it, so when I'm looking at the chat, it looks like I'm actually looking at the chat on screen, on the camera, because, uh, you know, if you're looking on desktop, the chat is right over there. So, I don't know, that was my idea there. I thought it was kind of fun. Let me know if it works at all. Um, okay, so here's what you're going to need for this, these patterns. Um, you're going to need the following materials. Uh, we're going to be using worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. Uh, I will be using two different colors today, uh, yellow and black. Uh, you might also, if you're going to make a queen bee, you're going to need some gold yarn. I have some down here. Uh, and you might also want some like uh, red um, yarn for some, some uh, what are those called? Like gems in the crown. Uh, you'll also need some safety bead eyes. For my little mini bees, I'm using size 6mm safety bead eyes. Uh, and then for my larger bees, I'm gonna, the queen bee, I'm going to be using 8mm safety bead eyes. We might get to a hive today. If we do crochet a hive, we'll be using this uh, kind of browner yarn. I like using honey yarn for it, um, but I don't really have any more of that color, unfortunately. Uh, because I'm using all worsted weight cotton yarn, I am using a size. G, four millimeter crochet hook. Look at that, isn't it pretty? You also need a little darning needle and some stuffing for this. Uh, and you'll need the patterns, of course. Uh, I won't be going through how to crochet these things in this video. I won't be explaining how to actually crochet them. Uh, but you can access the patterns in the description below. Uh, and the bumblebee pattern is totally free. Also, I think we are going to be making the uh, our bumblebees into little worker bees with a little worker hat. That's my kind of plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so there's that's all the things you need. Now, while you're getting your materials, if you're going to be crocheting along with us, uh, I'm going to explain to you how you can uh, support this channel. So there are a few different ways you can support. The first way is with a membership. That's definitely the best way. Membership accounts get um, exclusive access to patterns and tutorials, early access to future patterns, um, for example. And this is going to be pretty cool. I know I saw Sir Pearl Gray in the chat. So shout out to Sir Pearl Gray. He made the pattern for this little Gulliver here. This is what we made last live stream. And this is available with a membership account. So you'll need a membership account on the website. Not only does it help support this channel, um, but it also gets you exclusive access to patterns just like this. And it comes with full video tutorials for all every pattern that's on the in the Club Crochet Library. So that's really neat. Uh, that's how that's what memberships do. You also get early access to future patterns this week. Um, probably tomorrow you're going to be getting early access to a new pattern and this is kind of a preview for my halftime show where I show you the things I've been making this week but there's there's an extra surprise in it too so wait one second so if you're a member member you're gonna get early access to patterns like this giant bell bag this is coming out this week I just finished recording it um, uh, 
uh, yesterday, so I still have to edit the video together a little bit. But this pattern is coming out this week, and I have an extra surprise in this for um, later in the live stream. An extra surprise that is involved in this. So I'll share that for our halftime show. But these are both made by Sir Pearl Grey, who is in the chat, so hello. Thank you so much for uh, doing the collaboration with us. And he's also been doing uh, some live streams on his channel too, so you should check him out. Um, that, uh, so yeah, that the main way is with a membership. Um, with memberships, you also can get monthly kits mailed to your door. This month's kit uh, uh, is going to be for, it's gonna be beach themed. And it's gonna have an extra little surprise. So we're gonna be making sand castles and a beach ball and then with each monthly kit this month we are also going to be getting each person gets their own beach surprise so i live right across the street from a beach <laughs> i'm dropping a little bit of sand on the camera here but so i've got a bunch of sand dollars and we're bleaching them and making sure they're all cleaned up and then uh, every kit's going to come with their own little shell or sea glass or whatever uh, i'm going to i've been collecting stuff on the beach to add to each of the, these kits and they're going to be all packaged up so they don't break or anything so that's going to be this month's uh club crochet pro kit so if you want to get that make sure to sign up for a pro kit uh, for a pro membership by the end of the month um, okay, so those are, that's the main way to support the channel. Other ways to support the channel, you can purchase merch and kits in the shop. Um, we have a bunch of stickers that are available for purchase, uh, which are pretty cool. We got little professional hooker stickers. I have another sticker coming, and I know I've said this the past like three live streams, but I have another one coming very soon. Um, so we got professional hooker stickers. We got these stitch stickers for Stitched, the game you crochet. And uh, anyone can be a hooker. This one's got a clear back on it. Uh, you can also get kits. And I just added, bef like, while the live stream is going. Um, yes, that's that's exactly what I was shell hunting for. <laughs> um, uh, I just added the Brontosaurus kits. So if you want, they're uh, $14.99 in the shop. Um, you can find links by just going to clubcrochet.com. And you should be able to find it there. Uh, and go to the shop and there's kits and merch and stuff like that available. Okay, uh, and the last way you can support before we get started crocheting is you can super chat. So if you look at the little chat there, you can find there should be a little dollar icon. And if you hit that dollar icon, you can super chat and your, um, your message will come on screen now. I'll do a little dance for you and say whatever you said, uh, as long as it's not too mean, I guess. <laughs> And uh, you help support the channel and stuff. So, yeah, that's the other way to support, and it's really cool. Okay, well, without further ado, let's put this guy to the side for a little bit. Actually, we can leave sleeping. We can leave sleeping all over here. Oh, oh Lizzie! Whoa, Lizzie! Oh my god, thank you! Wow, okay, so Lizzie just super chatted. Uh,. And you can see it popped up right here. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. You rock. Holy cannoli. What a great start. Uh, Lizzie just super chatted for uh, 20, 25 pounds, which is like $32. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lizzie. You rock. You're the best. Thank you. Okay, so I, got, I owe you a little dance. So I'll do like... No, I always do that one. I always do like the shoulder one. Um, let's do a little disco, you know? A little... I'm actually really good at disco. I think I get it from my dad. Uh, he used to do rollerblading in disco uh, back back when he was a youth. We're gonna put that away for right now and just get rocking and rocking and rolling and hooking and booking and we're gonna be making a little tiny bee first uh, and then maybe we'll turn it into a worker bee. Oh, one more material that you should get. Um, uh, you don't need this. You can use the black yarn for this instead, but using this um, black thread is a little bit easier for if you want to add like a mouth to your little bumblebees. Just a suggestion. You don't need it, but it is. it does make things a little easier. And we're going to be doing some kind of fancy footwork for this uh, pattern with our, our stripes of our bumblebee. I'm going to start by making some wings. I haven't made this pattern in a long time. So, it should be pretty fun. 
Okay. Well, I thank you again, Lizzie. That was really, really cool. Also, uh, if you would like to, please like this video if you like uh, what's going on here and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Um, by liking the video, I get to find out which kind of um, stuff to be live streaming in the future. So it kind of helps out a lot. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Should I work into the back loops? Yeah, we're going to work into the back loops. Can you hear the music? And if so, can you tell what kind of music we are listening to? Can you tell what it is from? It is from a video game. I will give you that hint. I'm very curious if anybody figures it out. Uh, another hint is a remake. Um... Or like a, a port is coming out on the Switch for this game. Uh, it was just announced this week, and I'm super excited because it's my favorite game from the Wii U. Um, and this is one of my favorite uh, video game franchises. Franchises? I don't know. Video games in general. Video game series. I think it's a very cool game. It is Pikmin. Nice job, Mel. Mel Bell got it. First guess. Pikmin. I love Pikmin. You, uh, if you have not played Pikmin and you have a Switch, I very much consider you check out the Pikmin 3 that will be coming out on the Switch. In, um, it won't be coming out till October, unfortunately, but. I very much suggest it. It's a very, very good game. It's like a real-time strategy game, kind of, where you control these little tiny... They're kind of like ants. Um, these, they're called Pikmin, and you bring them around and uh, destroy evil creatures. I mean, they're not really evil. They're just kind of animals. <laughs> and you collect uh, stuff from a forgotten Earth-like place. You have this like miniature character named Alma, Alamar. And there's another character on it named Louie. He, uh, so that's one of the things I really like about it too. He goes, he says uh, his name like Louie. So I always do that. Four, five, six, seven. One of the things I really like about this pattern that we're making right here is, I mean, it's not necessarily like really a really easy pattern because you do have to do like a lot of stripes and stuff, but you can make these patterns really quick so you can, you can have like a whole hive of bumblebees pretty fast. And I thought it'd be really fun to turn this into a, um, a baby mobile, you know, like spinning around on, a, on, on top of a baby's uh, crib. Because then you could have the hive in the center, and then you could have a queen bee and a bunch of little worker bees all around it, spinning, spinning around the hive. I thought it'd be pretty cute. Uh, and I have, I bought a baby mobile thing. I just need to put it together. I think what I need to get is a, um, like an embroidery hoop, so that I can put it all together on an embroidery hoop, so it will spin uh, correctly. But I don't know yet. I need to work on it. Luckily, we're working on it right now. So we got the wings done on our little bumblebee. To see how quick that is. <laughs> little, little fun, please. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm excited that they're redoing Pikmin 3, or they're adding Pikmin 3. Oh, the music is a little bit loud. Okay, thank you for the note. There we go. How's that? I turned it, I, I put it down about half. Let me know if that works out. Thank you for the, uh, Letting me know about the music. Sorry, I was not paying enough attention to the chat. Um, so now we're making the bumblebee part itself. And we're going to be doing some fancy footwork for the stripes here. But yeah, but as I was saying, I'm really excited about Pikmin 3 being coming over to the Switch. But I do wish there was going to be a new one. Perfect, perfect. Okay, great. Well, music is good now. Music is good. One, two, three. I'm very sorry about that. I just wanted you to hear the beautiful music of Pikmin. 
I thought Pikmin was perfect because it's got like a bug kind of theme going on and we're making bugs. We're ma well, I don't know. Are, are bumblebees bugs? Technically? Insects? I know they're insects, but are insects bugs? I guess, yeah, insects are bugs. Are all bugs insects, or are all insects bugs? Because spiders are not insects, right? They're, they're something different. And, but spiders are bugs. Butterflies are bugs. Are butterflies insects? I am not sure. Yeah, I think that's a really good point, Melbell. I think that is exactly why they're moving. Yes, they are insects, and yes, insects. But what about spiders? What of spiders, Sarah? What of spiders? See, insects have six legs, and... Spiders don't have six legs. They got eight legs. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think there's a difference. This has been <laughs> Deep Thoughts with Jack Hadley. Butterflies are insects. Hi, Annie. I think I said that right. Hi, Annie. Spiders like cancer more. <laughs> I think that, um, what about, I, I feel like, uh, crabs are just water spiders. Jules has a, oh yeah, okay, so arachnids have eight, spiders and scorpions. Yeah, what about centipedes? What's a centipede? Is centipede a bug? Spiders are bugs, right? I would say spiders count as bugs, but they're not insects. So, so I think we're figuring stuff out this time. In Pikmin, you're a space explorer. I bet you, hey, Sir Pearl Gray, if you are in the chat still, um, do you like Pikmin? Pikmin seems like it's right up your alley. Seems like something you'd really enjoy. And I saw that you had live streamed last week. Speaking of bugs, um, Sir Pearl Gray is in the midst of making Flick. He actually just came out with Flick from Animal Crossing as a pattern. Uh, and he was making it earlier this week. And Flick is a character from Animal Crossing that catches bugs. Anything I smack with my shoe if I see it on the wall is a bug. That's what Melbell says. <laughs> whoa, you saw a giant five inch centipede? Oh, ooh, ooh. I don't like centipedes. I would say centipedes are maybe my least favorite of the insect variety. Yeah, let's just all call them arthropods. That seems fair. All right, so I finished this and now our color changes will begin. And here's the cool thing that we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna be doing these half color change rounds. Um, this is actually one of my most popular uh, videos it's about how to do the perfect stripes for your Amy Garumi and you do these little half color changes between rounds to make um, really good stripes so we're gonna be doing that I actually came up with this uh, technique for these bumblebees so we're gonna be doing it now and I believe we're just doing 18 stitches right yep okay 18 for three rounds okay Dean D map says hey Louie is there any way you could tell me um, how you made the fungaloids with multiple spores on its head. Uh, let me grab that during the halftime show, and I'll explain it there. But it's basically, um, I basically just crocheted them all. Uh, I crocheted them and sewed them all together, and then I crocheted around them once they were sewn together so that they were all connected. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll show you how to... I, 
I should do a tutorial video with how to just do that technique in general, um, but I'll show you. I'll kind of explain it in the halftime. In our halftime show, Sir Pro Gray says that he loved the first two games but never got into Pikmin 3. I think you will really enjoy Pikmin 3. Uh, I think it's probably the most well, um, but the best put together version of the Pikmin games. Uh, it is really quick. It's like a short game. So I'm excited for the Switch version because it seems like the Switch version has a lot more DLC and um, things in it to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit longer, which should be fun. What is a worm classified as? That's a good question. I don't know what a worm is classified as. The wings are adorable. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Victoria. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking a little worker helmet would be fun. A little orange worker helmet, you know, because they're worker bees. But we will seize. Uh, me and... We're, me and Sir Pro Gray are going to try to be doing a live stream together next um, next Sunday. We tried to do it this Sunday, but we just didn't have the time to get to figure out how to set it all up. So I think next Sunday is when we will be um, giving that a a shot. But we'll see. We'll, we'll both be live streaming. I think live streaming here. And... We'll just be like, I don't know, having a chat. Maybe we'll talk. We'll talk with the chat a little bit, and we'll we'll kind of make it maybe like an interview for each other and stuff like that. I don't know. We talked about it this week. We're gonna figure something out. Also, Sir Pearl Gray, if you um, have you seen my email about the other Animal Crossing thing? I'm wondering if we should. Well, maybe we should. We should hold on to that until next Sunday. We, we could talk about it then. So that you could talk about it as well. I'm going to undo this. After every round, I really should be doing this. Just holding it up and letting it spin so it comes untangled. Cut that inside one there. Evan, welcome. Welcome. It's Evan's first time here. Welcome, Evan. How was your guys' week, by the way? I hope you guys had a good week. I have been spending this week doing a lot of prep work. Um, for Club Crochet. I've been doing a lot of patterns and stuff. One thing I've been working on a lot is uh, next month's patterns for mostly next month's pattern for the beach ball. This little fella here. Um, I'm trying to I, I have this really cool technique for um, reading color changes. So it's how you can chart out color changes uh, for Amy Gurumi. It's this chart that I built. Um, I built it originally for the uh, for the planet Earth because there's a lot of color changes in that, and I wanted to like really explain how to do it. And Lizzie actually sent me a message saying that it was really helpful, uh, and and she really liked the the way that the chart was put together. So what I decided to do was work on a video where I explain how the color chart works, and I'm creating a bunch of templates. Um, so that people can make their own color chart patterns. Uh, so yeah, so you can just like build your own. I'm trying to figure out how to best do it, but I'm trying to come out with that this month. So I've been spending this week really trying to figure out that color chart pattern um, and video because it's a little bit, you know, it's going to go through a lot of explanation of how to read stuff. But I'm very excited because it'll if if it goes well, <clears throat> it'll be a really cool way to have the community build patterns, uh, and we can just like upload color charts and have like a whole system on the website where it's like, hey, you know, we'll have a pod person pattern, which will just be like a basic 
just pattern uh, for like how to crochet something. And then we'll have a color chart that you can follow along with the pattern. Everybody can make their own color charts so that you can make your own characters. So we could do like, you know, you can make any, any human or character from a TV show into a color chart and then we can have it on the website so anybody can make these kind of color charts based on this pattern. That's my kind of plan. Um, it's going to take a little bit of work, mostly because I need to figure out how uh, to make it so it's uh, so we can add the patterns onto the site because that's, you know, that can be a little bit tricky. So I did the slip stitch. I, I needed to chain in black there. But that's my kind of idea. can't find where my black yarn starts. That's always the worst. I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing track of the chat here. Yes. You went camping. How cool. I wish I went camping. Jules and I are going next this week to, um, to a cabin. So I'm excited about that. Just us two should be fun. That's a great idea, Charlotte. Two things, Charlotte. One, that's a great idea to hang them in the window. How cute. I was thinking about like hiding them around town, like on on uh, trees and stuff. And then the second thing I wanted to say to you, Charlotte, is you have my favorite name. Charlotte is my favorite name ever. Um, I really want to name um, a kid Charlotte one day. If I have kids, I probably will. But maybe I won't, who knows? But if I do, I'd like to name a little girl Charlotte. I like that name. My week was, it was busy, but it was okay. Wow. Ooh, a crocheted hummingbird. Toad, I love that idea. That's a really good idea. I think I will add that um, to the list. I have made one crocheted hummingbird in the past that is actually, it was a bobblehead. I crocheted a bobblehead. I should do a tutorial for how to make bobbleheads. Man, I got a lot of, I got a lot of ideas that I got to uh, figure out. Um, but I'll add that to the list. I think that's a great idea, Toad. My silence about Simon is deafening. Silent Simon Cowell? I don't really know who Simon Cowell is, to be completely honest. I think he's from something, from from like a host of something, I don't know. But apparently he hurt himself. I don't really know who Simon is though. I'm sorry for being silent about him though. That's one of your, oh, Grandma Charlie, that's adorable. Oh my god, that's such a cute name for a grandma. Ooh, I like that idea. A series where we crochet 3D letters. Man, these are great ideas, dudes. I have got to write this down. I right, one second. Let me write this down before we forget about it. The hummingbird and I gotta minimize this. I've got a Google Doc where I just keep all the um, the list of people's suggestions. Pattern suggestions. All right. Boom. 3D alphabet. And hummingbird. Great ideas. I think I'm going to start a thing where you can, where everybody can put suggestions on there and upvote and downvote suggestions. That's what I kind of want to do. That way we could, uh, and then like once a month I'll crochet, I'll make a pattern for whatever is the top of the list. I think that might be kind of fun. How old am I? I am 28. I'm 28 now. Although I feel like I am 21, 22 maybe. Time flies. You know, I, people always would tell me that. Time flies and yes, it really does. 
really does. Have I ever seen the Hunger Games? I have seen the Hunger Games. I love the Hunger Games. It's a great, I, I read those books when I was in high school, I think. I really, really enjoyed them. So yeah, something from the Hunger Games might be kind of fun. Oh, I love, God. Okay, guys, you guys are all coming up with great ideas. I'm loving these ideas. Cause Lewis, by the way, great name there, Lewis. Lewis Moga. Uh, just suggested the a bonsai tree that's a willow tree variant. I love that idea. That is such a good idea. And relatively easy, I think, to put together. I think I can do that one. And I think it's a very good idea. Um, yes, Evan, Evan ha is having a problem. Evan, can you email me at louis at clubcrochet.com? I can help out. I will be able to help out if you send me that email there. All right, so now we have finished this round and we can, I think I've done that right. Yes, and now we can add the eyes and stuff. Let's do a little twisty, twisty turn for our bumblebee. There we go. Are we good? Lara Wiga. Yeah, please. E yeah, there you go. Email me at that email that Mel Bell just provided. All right, so I'm going to try to make these eyes. We're in the right spots. Okay, these guys. Okay. Let's look at a picture of the finished one so I can find out exactly where I want to put the eyes. It looks like. Okay. Let's go like right here. And. See how that looks. Eh. Not bad. And then we can do the little smile. Yeah, I think this. I think this'll work. What accent was that? I think this'll work. <laughs> Great name yourself. Multicolored blue yarn cakes. I think that's cool. Okay. When did I start crocheting? I started crocheting in high school. I started in, I believe, sophomore year of high school. So, uh, like 12 or 13 years ago, maybe. Maybe a little longer. I have been crocheting a while. Yeah, and then once I learned, I kind of just stopped learning. I kind of just started making stitches up and stuff. That's why I started a video. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will fix it. Hmm. Like this, maybe? We're gonna have a crooked... A cro crooked bumblebee mouth. Let's fix that. Yeah, that doesn't look right. I think it's because that eye needs to be up more. I think I goofed this eye up. And you know, I was thinking about it. You saw me thinking about it. You did see me. It wasn't just in my head, I, I think. So we're gonna take this eyeball out. It's so difficult to get the eyeballs out once they're in, though. Oh, we gotta, gotta open eye hole. We're gonna put it up here, though. There we go. Right there. And then before I 
completely put on that eye, I'm going to make the mouth. So this is going to be like that. I don't even think we need to. I was going to like try to sew the mouth down, but I don't think I even need to do that. I think it looks pretty cute like that. What do you think? You like that? That's pretty cute. It really looks like a smiley face. Let's go ahead and I'll just double knot it here. Um, yes, Soya asks, how much is a membership a month? So you can get a free trial um, to see if it's anything that you're interested in. But after that, it is $5 a month. And it gives you access to all the patterns. All the patterns. All the patterns. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think we like that. I think I like that. Crocheted llama tutorial, like step by step. There's actually another artist that makes a um, crocheted llama tutorial that I think you'd really like. She goes by Ravencraft Designs and she makes the cutest little llama. She's actually the one that designed this um, sandcastle. So we're she's going to be doing the collaboration pattern for next month for the sandcastle. And uh, she's got this really cute llama pattern. So it's Ravencraft Designs. I think she's on like everywhere. Instagram, Etsy, all that fun stuff. You should check her out. She's got a very cute llama. Yes, I think it is relatively cheap. And the reason I can keep it so cheap is because it's just um, it's just supporting me uh, and, my, and the website itself. So I actually have a full-time job, so I don't take any of the money that comes from the funds there. It all goes back into the website. So when I say uh, if you want to support this channel, it's literally just supporting this channel. <laughs> it doesn't go to me at all. It just goes straight into making patterns, into getting yarn for patterns, uh, stuff like that, into making more stuff for the website. So I don't know if that helps encourage you to become a member or not, uh, but I think it's kind of really uh, very cool when people do become members because it means that they are um, supporting something that I really love too. Okay, so we are on... Round. We are on brown. Where am I? Oh, I've got to sew on the. the I got. I forgot to sew on the, the the wings. The wings go between the first black stripe. Okay, we're going to try to keep the wings lined up with the eyes a little bit. Okay, one wing. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's cool. God, I forgot how cute this pattern is. <laughs> I really should have made this like 100 times. I should make a giant bumblebee. Or a tiny itty bitty bumblebee. The itsy bitsy bumblebee. There we go. Sorry, I'm being so quiet. I just want to make sure that these come on in the right spots there. I also think I'm going to be... Oh, wait. Can you teach me how to read the pattern? I'm guessing you're saying pattern for which pattern? I can't pronounce your name because it's like two symbols. But um, what pattern do you mean? Do you mean this one that we're currently making? Because I can help you read that one. Cause I got it open right now. 
I also have a video where it teaches you how to read patterns. Um, I think I need to maybe put a little bit more work into that, but it might help out a lot. Heather, hello. I'm doing well, how about yourself? And I think we're all doing pretty all right. Okay, we'll cut that. And we have a bumblebee with some wings. What if I just started talking like that for this whole video? How fast of me just doing would you guys be leaving the live stream <laughs> if I just started doing that? Would you say like five minutes? If I was doing that for five minutes, would you leave? I don't want you to leave, so I'm not going to do it, but I'm just curious. Four and then an invisible decrease. Are the patterns on Instagram asks the secret life of potato eaters? No, the patterns are on, uh, you mean for her, for the little, um, Llama, I'm guessing that, that that's what you mean. No, they're on Etsy, I think, um, is for her patterns. Only Angel Girl asks, uh, how about your Patreon? Yeah, I do also have a Patreon page. Uh, that's for my, um, my other projects. So, for example, for Stitched, um, I have a Patreon for my Louis Loops channel, which is my other channel that is... It's not really about learning how to crochet. It's more about just doing fun things that crochet happens to be involved with. And there is a Patreon account attached to that one, which uh, is mostly for Stitched right now. So you get, um, if you become a Patreon supporter over there, you get all the uh, the rules for Stitched, uh, like the, the exclusive rules for Stitched. Um, there are extra um, tutorials and, and characters that we've been kind of trying to perfect. It's mostly for like play testing. You get like extra instructions and stuff. It's pretty cool. Do you have to buy them? I think you do have to buy the, uh, the llama pattern. I think so. I think it's like two, three dollars. It's, it's pretty cheap though. Um, and definitely worth it. She's very, it's a very cute pattern. So it's Raven Craft Designs. I think if you just Google her, you can find them. <laughs> Melbell. Thank you, Melbell. You are on fire. You're, you're very good at this. <laughs> One, two, three. Four. All right, so we got another round done. The great thing about this pattern now is now that we got those faces sewn on, all I gotta do is keep crocheting and then stuff it and sew it closed what do you think do you think we should do a worker hat before we move on to the queen bee or do you think we should do the queen bee and then give it a worker hat at the end let me know what you guys are thinking what are you thinking what are you thinking Uh, Jasmine asks, why are you, why do you keep interchanging the yarn? So this is called, uh, half color changes. Um, I think that's, I don't know. That's what I call them or half color changes. Uh, there's a video where I explain how to do these, uh, color changes a little bit easier. And the reason we do it is because they're very, it makes a very crisp line between the bumblebee stripes. Um, basically each round we're making the top half a different color than the bottom half of the stitch. So if you look at this round, the round I'm on right now, I'm going to crochet so that the bottom is yellow and the top is black. So I'm gonna go into the next stitch right here. I'm gonna pull through with yellow and then I'm gonna switch under by flipping it under like that, yarning over with black and pulling through with black. And I'm just gonna keep switching that. So next round I'll make the bottom black and the top yellow and it will make um, really crisp and thin uh, lines. Worker hat before the queen. Worker hat, okay, you got it. You got it, team. Let's go, team, go, yeah, wow.
Uh oh, see, I did that one. I goofed that one up. Yellow and black. Aquatic Luna. <laughs> I like that name. Hello, Aquatic Luna. How are you? Then I'll decrease down. That. Yeah, and then at the end of the round, I'm doing something uh, where I'm slip stitching. I'll show you when I get to the end of this round. I'll show you how. Um, it's how you make a more seamless end uh, so that you can't really see where the, the end of the round is. It's a little tricky. Uh, it's, I mean, well, it's not that tricky. And it only kind of works, but it works better than not doing it at all. So I'll show you in just a sec, because we're getting to the end of this round. Make sure these wings are the way we want them to be. I want to, like, dip these wings in, like, glue and water. Do, yeah, I, you know, you you just asked, do you know my name? I remember you told me your name last time, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, I think it maybe it starts with an A. <laughs> Worker hat, worker hat. Um, have I made a cat? Yes, we have. Uh, we made, most recently we made a pumpkin cat. Uh, so it looks like a little, um, like a cat that's stuck in a pumpkin. And I've been working on some techniques for how to do just like a cat, just in general. So I'll, maybe I'll add that to the rough draft soon. It's, it's really not too tough though. But that was a pattern in collaboration with another amigurumi artist who goes by, um, uh, starts with an A, like Annika or something. Your name is Sarah. Oh man, I should have remembered that. Sarah. Sarah. I can remember Sarah. My best friend's name is Sarah. And my cousin's, uh, who is also one of my best friends' name is Sarah as well. So I should be able, be able to remember Sarah. Okay, so at the end of this round here, uh, this for Jasmine, if you're looking, um, uh, this is how you do a more seamless end, is you do a slip stitch into the first stitch that you made. So you can see, here's the first stitch, is the black one right there. Let me get a little closer and see if it focuses in. So this first stitch right here, we're going to do a slip stitch into that one with our the, the half color change that we're doing, so black. We do a slip stitch into there. And then we're going to switch over to yellow and then yarn over and do a chain one with yellow. And then for my next round, I'm going to work into the same spot that I slip stitched into uh, to start it. And that's going to make this kind of, so you can see how it makes a more seamless end. So these, these stripes all connect here because this is where the end of the rounds are. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah, I remember you. You you were here. You've been here a few times. It's hard to not remember you because uh, of your your name on here. It's just symbols, and I you know, it's easy to remember just symbols. I don't know what those symbols are, but I do know they're there. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee real quick. Amigo Rumi boy. Wow, this video has a hundred likes so far. Oh my gosh, hundred likes. That's pretty awesome. If you like it, you want to add to it, maybe we can get to 200. That'd be crazy. I don't think we'll get to 200, but it would be neat. Prove me wrong. Unspinning. All right, so we're coming to the end now, I think. Just a few more rounds. Oh, it's all black from here on. Wait, is that true? Yes, it is. Look at that. They don't need this yellow anymore. It's all black. All right. And... So I'm just going to crochet around this yellow just for the first bit right here. And then I can cut it. So we don't need it. We'll come back to that for the queen bee. Two. Oh, skip to my loo. That's right, the music got scary. We're at the end of the round here. Ba -ba -bum. 
one, two, and then invisible decrease. This yarn's got like fur on it a little bit. I think it's from my cat. This, yarn, this music did get scary. We're in the middle of a boss battle here. Okay, and then I think it's just one, and then invisible decrease down to six. Yeah, okay, easy. Um, you know what, I'm gonna stuff it just a little bit right now. It's the bee boss. How long did it take for this to be made? Well, let's see. I probably started about 10, 15 minutes into the live stream. We've been live streaming for about 45 minutes, I think. Oh, no, we've been going for like 55 minutes. So it took about 45 minutes maybe to make this, I would, I would say. Normally. I'm going a little bit slower because I'm talking while I crochet, but... I do have this on the website as a quick stitch pattern. So I have um, a list of all my patterns that are can be made in under one hour. So it should take you less than an hour to make one of these. I mean, it depends on how quickly you're a crocheter, but it can be made in less than an hour, I should say. Usually when I say it can be made in less than an hour, it means you already know how to make the pattern. Um, so learning how to make it the first time, it obviously is going to take a little bit longer because you might make a few mistakes or you might have to go back or something like that. But I think we do three invisible decreases now. Yes. Wow, we're still in a boss battle. There we go, two, one more. There we go. This music got so silly. All right, so he's got a little point now. Now we can just cut it and sew this in. Whoa, that is a very large earth. Are you making it, D&D Maps? Like, you made that pattern, or is it from someone else? Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while, have we, Lizzie? He hasn't been on in, like, a week or two. I know it might be, like, a little later there. I think we just need to do this, and then we can sew it in. That. Let's see how this goes. There we go. He's got a nice little stinger there. Cut the yarn. Go ahead and pinch that stinger so he's got a more a better defense mechanism. He's got a little bit of fuzz going on. Now he needs his little helmet. That's pretty good. That's a pretty cute little bee. Little bumblebee. It'd be really fun to make this with embroidery yarn and see how tiny we can get it. Okay, let's give him a worker hat. Let me grab some orange yarn. I didn't grab my orange yarn because I'm dumb. Because I'm a dumb, dumb, did silly boy. Uh-oh. Read mom. He's upstairs. Which comment? Okay. Okay. We need orange yarn here. Okay, I'm not sure if this will be enough, but this is the perfect orange. Let's try it out. Now, if you want to make a worker helmet, I'll explain how to do it right here, like just as a quick video tutorial. 
and maybe I can write the pattern down later. Um, it's going to be pretty easy to make, I think. We're just going to be starting with a magic loop method. And we're going to start by single crocheting six into the magic loop. Heather says that she's trying to make an elephant but without a pattern and do it herself. Any tips? Um, yes, first tip is here's how I would do the elephant trunk. Hold on. I got the sneezies. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so how I do the elephant trunk if I were you, Heather? is I would chain a bunch and then I'd connect the chain and then with a slip stitch and then around the chains that you made I would do single crochets and and then continue those single crochets and it would make it'll make like a tube with a little end where like there's an open hole at the end of a tube and it'll be a good that might be a good way to start the um the trunk there's one suggestion <laughs> thank you guys corona okay so for round, whew, it's just all fuzzy. It's just, there's all this like fuzzy yarn here. Okay, so in round two of this uh, uh, worker helmet, I'm going to be just increasing into each stitch all the way around. Um, just, and we're gonna be working in the round here. And I'm gonna keep this uh, tail end here a little longer so that we can use it to sew onto uh, the top of the head once we got it finished. But yeah, we're just going to be doing increases into each stitch, and this will be up to 12 stitches around. Okay. So you're making Rohan Kishbi from JoJo. I don't know what that is. And at first I thought it was Jojo Rabbit that you were talking about, but I don't think, I'm thinking now that's not what it is. So now what I'm gonna do, <laughs> um, I think actually that's probably gonna be wide enough for the helmet, right? Yeah, so I'll just do go ahead and single crochet into each stitch and we'll see how it goes. If I need to, I might increase. I might pull it back and increase, but this looks like it might be big enough. So we're gonna go ahead and just do single crochet stitches all the way around. Granny square blanket. Sunshine, you put the set of the dinosaur patterns, you put them on your page on Club Crochet. I have not seen them yet, but I would very much like to. Um, you put them on the website, I'm guessing. What's your username? I think that probably is pr probably big enough for the helmet. Like, and then we could just go, well, let's imagine it's this way. And then we just did the helmet thing there. Okay, I'm gonna do three single crochets one two and three and then I'm going to do a brim I'm just gonna do a small brim here so to do that I'm gonna be working into the front loops only for the next stitches and I'll do one single crochet and then I'll do a half double crochet into the next Um, one, two, I want to do th four stitches wide. So one, two, let's do two half double crochets into the next. So one single crochet, two half double crochets, and we're going to do that again. We're going to do two half double crochets again, and then a single crochet. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's not bad. Kinda looks like a worker helmet. It kinda looks just like a baseball hat though. But I guess that's kinda what a worker helmet looks like. You know? Like that? 
And then I'm gonna do like a little line thing up on the t front of it to make it look more like a helmet. And then I'll just do single crochets into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then we'll do a slip stitch into the next. Okay, so for, again for that round, um, it was three single crochets and then working into the front loops we did a single crochet two half double crochets two half double crochets and a single crochet the two half double crochets are both in their own stitch and then I did three more single crochets and then a slip stitch so that's how I did that helmet slash baseball hat we'll see how it looks once I embroider I'm gonna try to embroider a little bit to make it more look more like a helmet and what I'm gonna do with this end here is I'm gonna do a hidden end into the next stitch like that okay so I go into the back the front like that and then I'll just actually I'm just gonna leave this end here we're going to use these two ends to sew it onto the body. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of embroidery on the front of the helmet with some extra orange. Not that much should be fine. Let's see how it goes. I'm just going to go up from where our single crochet was in the brim. And we're gonna go over to where our next single crochet was, and then we're gonna come up through the center. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, see, it's gonna be like that. Maybe if we did like a different orange, it would be more visible. What do you think? It's not bad. Yeah, let's let's try a different orange. Or let's maybe we can see what the gold looks like. Let's try the gold. Throw that to the side. Or the yellow. Let's try gold. Yeah, we're gonna try gold. That way it's like a little bit more noticeable that we're doing some detail on it. And we'll go, and then he'll be like more, he'll have a little bit more royalty to him. Again, we go up from the single crochet in the brim, over to the other single crochet in the brim, come out through one stitch above in the center. And then we'll go around the bar that we just made, and back into our piece, into the same place we came out of. Like that. A little tighter. That's not bad. I like it. I mean, you could tell it's a worker hat, right? What do you think? Do you think I should have done, a, oh, a, maybe a white line? Bob, Bob says maybe a white line. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll do the line different colors if we do more bumblebees, and we'll have different colors. That way you can distinguish each bee from each other. Oh my gosh. Aquatic Luna is a genius. Everybody, let it be known. Aquatic Luna is a genius. We're going to give him a little tiny... <laughs> We're gonna give him a little itty bitty lunch bag and a mustache. Are you kidding me? You guys are geniuses. Okay, I love this idea. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go to the halftime show after we're done with this guy, which means that we're gonna show you everything that I've been working on this week. Like that. And a mustache. You guys are so good. That's, you guys are geniuses. You're geniuses. Let it be known. Be 
And we're actually gonna barely sew on this hat because I don't think it needs to be sewn on too tightly. Well, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go a few stitches back here, over, a dark a dark a dark But my point being here is that I don't think I need to sew every stitch on of this hat. I don't think you're going to be able to tell anyhow. Or like, you know, I don't think it's going anywhere. So we could just sew a few stitches on and I think it'll be fine. We'll see. I might be completely wrong about this. I love the idea of giving him a little lunch bag, though. It'll be so easy, too. We'll just go ahead and sew one more on the back here. Just to be safe. Okay. We're gonna double knot this on the inside. Yeah, a flower's not a bad idea. If we got enough time by the end, we'll do a flower too, Toad. Ah, lost our needle. Okay, so we got our worker helmet on. I think Jules is gonna think this is really cute. I'm excited to show her. Okay, so we got a worker helmet. Now we need our little lunch bag. Okay, so we need brown yarn. I'll be right back. We need two kinds of brown yarn. Is that too brown for a lunch bag? Yeah. Maybe we'll get tan. I wiggled everything. Ah! What did I do? Ah! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're back. How am I liking Paper Mario? Good question. Uh, I think it's okay. My problem is it's a little slow. Uh, it's getting, it's picking up a little bit now. I've just got past um, the first uh, boss, um, the, the the Earth Elemental boss, and yeah, I like it. I think it's just getting a little slow for me, or it, it was a little slow for me, so I just need to pick it back up and, and get back into it. Okay, let's see how we can do this little lunch bag. I think what I can do is I think I can just make it th three dimensional here and then just crochet it together. I don't know, we're gonna see how this goes. So what I'm doing for the lunch bag, if you want to crochet one as well, I'm doing, I chained four and then starting into the second chain from the hook, I single crocheted into the next two chains. And then in the third chain, in the last chain, rather, I single crocheted three times and pivoted. So I turned it around 180 degrees. Then I single crocheted one into the back of the next chain. Single crocheted three into the chain on the other side, which pivoted around again. I skipped the first stitch and I slip stitched into the second stitch we made. <sighs> kind of complicated, to be completely honest, but I think it kind of works. And then we'll just to these loops to make it back. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. We're just kind of making it up as we go here. We're gonna we're doing like a lunch bag. Yeah, I haven't done the queen bee yet. It becomes a lot less handholdy. That sounds great because 
Yeah, I, I really want it to pick up. It's just been going so slow, the first chapter. When you batter King Ollie. Oh man, I haven't got to King Ollie yet. Earthquake! There we go. See, so I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna do a little flap. I've got a plan, guys. I really do. I swears. I swears to you. I've got a plan. Let's make up our own stuff. D yeah, I, I think I understand what you're saying. How to shape the pieces. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do a little, like, how increases work and how single crochets work. Like, how they, how they change the way your piece is going to look. And so how you can do that, how you can use that kind of technique to um, make your own patterns and stuff. I'm guessing that's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can I can start working on some tutorials for that. I can try my best. Ah. All right, Sarah. I'll see you later. Um me Jackie we started at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, that's what that's the time we usually start on Sundays. Uh, but we are going to be doing a movie night soon. What? Yeah, that's right. We're going to be doing a movie night soon. I think that's probably big enough for his lunchbox, and then I'll just do a a little flap that's over it. Um, so how am I going to do that? I know. I know exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that the way that Sir Pearl Grey did the arms for Gulliver. I think. I'm going to try. Okay. Right. It's just so small now. <laughs> It's hard to know what I'm doing. Chain one, pull it over. I'll do half double crochets. One. Yeah, because then it'll like bend over on itself like that. Ugh, crumbs. Let's try this again. Yeah, like that. Two. Ah. Three. And we'll just chain one and we'll do a slip stitch in the last one. I think it works. Right? It's a little lunch bag. We'll put it like this on him. We'll just sew it on like right there. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, right?
Any plans for the movie? I th I'm thinking we do something dinosaur related. I want to, I, whatever we do for the movie, I want to do it so that it's, um, so that, uh, we can have patterns that we'll make along with the movie. That's what I was thinking, at least. Let's see how this goes. If I just do that, and then I go like this. Yeah, so I'm thinking something either dinosaur themed or um, or something like that. There, it looks like he's got it, right? Did I put it too far up, do you think? Do you think I should move it back a little bit? It looks kind of like it's coming right out of his face, which is kind of weird for me. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? I'd love your guys' opinion on this. Mmm. Do not. That's a great idea. Maybe something superhero. Maybe we could do Marvel. Looks good. Okay. Alright. Looks good. Perfect. Great. If you think so, I totally believe you and I trust you. Oh, dang it, Heather. Why'd you say a shoulder strap? Next time we'll do a shoulder strap, because that's a good idea. All right, then we'll let's tuck this knot back in there. Do you think he needs a mustache? There. I Maybe if I just, like, bend it like this, it'll look more like he's holding it. Does he need a mustache, though, is the great question. Does our worker bee need a mustache? Yoth. Yoth. I mean, he's... I gotta say, that is... That is pretty cute. Yes to a mustache. No to a mustache. An axe? <laughs> the worker bee doesn't have an axe. No on the mustache. No on the mustache. Okay, so we're getting a lot of no's. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, it looks like we're getting no. He, I, no, but he doesn't need one. I think we're going to go with a no for the mustache then. It looks like more people are saying no. Okay. Well, we have our little worker bee ready on his way to work with his little lunch bag. Um, and put it might be a little much. That's what I had to say to you, D&D Maps. Okay, so welcome to the halftime show. Hold on. I've I got a little puppet that can help with this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I'm not here. Wait. Maybe. Hello and welcome to the halftime show. Yes, that's right. I'm here to, to introduce the halftime show. The halftime show is brought to you by you. Yeah, that's right. If you're interested in uh, supporting this channel, you can support with a um uh uh, uh what am I trying to say? Uh mm, mm, mm. oh, a super chat. A super chat. Yes, you can support with a super chat if you like. Um. Yes, this, uh, today we are going to be showing you all the things Louis has crocheted, uh, this week. Um, yeah, I have been crocheted by Louis, but not this week. It was a while ago. Uh, I don't really have a name. If you have any, uh, suggestions for a name, let me know. Uh, uh, Louis's arm is getting tired, so I'm gonna go away. Okay, bye! <laughs> Oh, okay, that was my friend, uh, the nameless monster. 
Um, and whew. there we go. Uh, and he, yeah, he was introducing the show. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be showing some of the stuff that we've been crocheting this week. So the first thing is, um, I have been making a lot of octopi. Uh, I've just been addicted to making octopi. So, and I showed you some of these last week. Um, but these patterns are coming out into the rough drafts. I'm going to try to do it tonight to put them in the rough drafts. But we've been making these little octopi. This one's got a little sailor hat. This is actually the sailor hat from um, the, the uh, Gulliver. Bluey's loops. Oh, my God. That's so clever. You guys are geniuses. I love that. I love that. That is a great idea. Bluey's loops. That was Bluey's loops over there. Um, yeah, so we're doing little octopi. Here are a few different variations. The cool thing is these patterns are completely no sew patterns. So they're completely made without sewing anything on. And so I have shown you a lot of these guys and I made a squid and I showed you guys that there last week. But a lot of people said that the squid's arms weren't, um, they have two longer arms. So I made one here, and he's got these two longer arms in pink. Um, so this pattern is going to be on rough drafts uh, pretty soon. And then after I made this one, I realized, oh my gosh, you know what he needs is a little tiny ship to be terrorizing. So he's got this little ship. So what I was thinking of doing is making, um, getting a little tiny pot. Um, a little crocheted, or not a little crocheted, but a little pot, uh, and making it look like water inside the pot with these, with, uh, this squid and his little, and his little ship that he's terrorizing, uh, within the pot. So I haven't cut these yet, but you can kind of see how it's going to work. So I'm going to work on a pattern for this one as well. Um, uh, yeah, so there'll be patterns for all this coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking there. And I was also thinking about a new tabletop game, a new board game that involves where you're a Kraken and you're trying to take down a ship. I don't know. It's the it's just a general idea. The ship is really easy too. It's also a no sew pattern, so there's no like sewing together for the ship. Uh, so I've been working. I've been trying to make my patterns a little bit more succinct. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a video coming out for how to crochet these squids and these octopi and stuff like that. ASAP, um, uh, cause I'm very, very proud of them, especially the fact that they're no sew. So this is the first thing I wanted to share with you in this, uh, show and tell that I'm very proud of. I'll, I'll put them all right here. The, the ship can't really stand up on its own. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a pattern that's coming out. Um, I think tomorrow, it depends how late I can stay up and work tonight. Um, but really soon and it's coming out for memberships first and then the next week it'll be coming out uh as a free pattern with me and uh sir pearl gray doing a live stream this giant bell bag and you can see this bell bag is a little bit oddly shaped right now and there's a reason for that it's because check this out ready maybe i can do it on screen let's see can i do like this ready watch this also, this is all made with an I-cord. There's a tutorial coming out soon for the I-cord. I also recorded that when I made this pattern so that I could do just a video for the I-cord. But, 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 but it's weirdly shaped because there's stuffing on the bottom of it, but I also wanted to fill it with, that's right, another bell bag. <laughs> and then, oh, I messed up. I goofed up, but... Hold on. Hold on. Inside this bell bag is a little bell bag. That's a little misshapen. And now next, I want to make a itty bitty bell bag. Like one that's made with embroidery thread that's going to go in this one. And I'm going to do a video of me. Put sacks on sacks, baby. <laughs> so this big bell bag pattern 
This one is actually the exact same pattern as this bigger one. And you can see here, you can see the size difference. But it's made, this one's made with cotton yarn and this one's made with bulky um, yarn. And then the one that we're gonna be live streaming together next week with Sir Pearl Gray, we're gonna be doing it all in this even bulkier yarn, which should make that, I'm hoping it makes it so big that this bell bag fits into the even bigger one. That's my goal. Um, yeah, basically, I mean, look at this. This is like a pillow. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. So those are the first two things. Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to show off in this uh, that I have been crocheting that I can share with you? I do have one more thing I've made that I, um, but I'd rather not share it right now because it's um work me and me and sir me and sir pearl gray are kind of working on a little pattern to work on together um heather we got a super chat it should be coming on screen anytime now there it is ba -ba -da -ba. heather super chats you're amazing heather thank you so so much what kind of dance we're looking at here hmm hmm how about we can Vogue? Is that a good Vogue? I don't know how to Vogue. Anyhow, thank you so much, Heather. That was really sweet of you. Thank you very much. Uh, also, good choice on the on the cool little guy. Um, yeah. So bill bags. Those are those are the main things I wanted to share, and the little squid. And then there's one other thing that I th I really think is very cool, but I think I'll share it. Uh, I'll, I'll save it for a little bit longer. Um, and let's see. I, I think that's about it. I made some other T-Rexes. So here's. I made this little. Oh, oh, I remember one more thing I wanted to share. This is for D&D maps. So first off, I made this cool little T-Rex. So I'm trying to think about the bundles. Um, I'm adding I'm adding a, uh, a kit to the store um, for a bundle. Uh, for a bundle for how to crochet a bunch of different kinds of dinosaurs. And I'm trying to choose the colors for that bundle. And I think green and yellow is pretty cute together. So I think I'm gonna make the bundle include green and yellow yarn. Uh, so I crocheted this this T-Rex for that. And then uh, this one's for D&D maps. D&D uh, maps, I, uh, I crocheted a fungaloid that is actually, these are, um, it's supposed to represent a type of mushroom. It's like, you get it in um, hot and sour soup from Chinese restaurants. I don't know what it's called. Um, but this is a... Uh, this is a fungaloid made that way, and he wanted to know how I crocheted it, so I figured I'd use this as an opportunity to show you, not only to show you this cool, cute little fungaloid that I made, but also how I made it, um, is I made these, uh, I made four, four of these top things, one for the middle and then four all the way around, and then when I finished the fifth one, um, I sewed together the three I sewed together the middle one attached to the outside four, and then I used, I was in the middle of crocheting the fourth one. I didn't cut it off and sew it together yet, like I did the other four. And instead I used it and I just kept crocheting around using the outside stitches from the, the other stitches there. And, it, and then I uh, increased up a, like just a little bit to make it so that it was still 18 stitches around so that I could add a face and stuff. So that's how I made this. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, and and Inoki, thank you. Thank you, Sir Pearl Gray. Thank you, Philip. And Inoki. So that was the idea here. Um, I have a few other fungaloids I could share. Um, I've made... I've made like a like a couple dozen of these different fungaloids. So this guy's supposed to be like a little farm farm galoid. I thought he was pretty cute. I did something a little different with the top there. And then this guy's like a little grumpy. Um, um, I think he's supposed to be a shiitake mushroom or something. Just a little. Just he's like a short guy. 
and he's made with it like folded over in fact i was thinking i could fold it up like this and he could be um a different kind of mushroom like that you see he's got his his mushroom is actually pierced yeah all right okay so let's put these guys aside thank you for the halftime show hope you guys like my crocheted doodads and let's get working on our queen bee since we are already an hour and a half in hopefully we can finish a whole queen bee it might be we might be pushing it though okay When you fold his head up, he, he does look French. That's true. He did kind of look a little French. All right, so we need our yellow yarn here. I don't think we'll be making it to a hive, to finishing a whole hive today, but we might be able to do a queen bee. I'm having fun, so I don't really want to stop. It's going to take me a second to clean up everything after I'm done. Okay, so let's go over to the queen bee pattern. Now, this queen bee pattern is is membership exclusive here's what we're going to be making you can see it in the corner there just the queen bee um yeah so it's a membership exclusive so you need a membership account to get that pattern or or you can purchase it you can purchase the whole bundle if you are interested all right heather i'll see you later oh and really quick if you haven't liked this video yet please like uh, it it helps people get see this video later on And I'll see you later Amy Garumi boy um, We're gonna start. Oh, thank you DHL or DLH 975. I don't know what your name is you look I'm trying to see what you're doing in the in your picture. It looks like you're playing a an instrument maybe I can't really tell, but it's very cool. Thank you very much. Let's see. I vogued. I did a little disco. Um, how about I tap dance with my fingers? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> Dan. Thank you, Dan. Um, yes, we do. I the, the channel gets the money. So it goes into a bank account that I use. Um, you are playing harp. That's awesome. Uh, it goes into a it goes into a bank account that I use to purchase things for um, like new cameras uh, and yarn that we need, and um, I have to pay to get the website up and running pretty often, so I have to I use the money for that too. Uh, yeah, so it just goes it goes right back into the channel. Make the bee dance. I don't know why I always do the Okay, he looks like he's going to work. He's on a, he's on his way to work. <laughs> okay. Uh now we're making wings for our queen bee. No, I think they might get a cut, but it's not it's not very much. Uh, it goes into it's essentially like goes into ad revenue. Half double crochet one, and then we'll double crochet two. I have a cat out the door that is being very meowy. I don't think you can hear him. Treble crochets. And then it looks like I got three double crochets in the end here. Oh, five. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. I just work my way back down. Okay. And each one of these tutorials, uh, this bumblebee tutorial, uh, the queen bee, 
and the hive all actually have a full-length video tutorial that I made for them so uh, I, I explain every one of the stitches in that video tutorial to make it a little bit easier uh, my idea being there that I want everybody that wants to learn to crochet able to crochet so all these t all these patterns have video tutorials for them all right and then a single crochet there we go we got a queen bee wing I'm guessing I yeah chain one okay one down one to go Uh, the only angel girl asks, how can I get access to the rough drafts? Um, the rough drafts pattern are only available for membership accounts, not just pro membership, just membership accounts in general. So you'll need a membership to the website in order to access them. And the rough draft patterns don't have any video tutorials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, let me just get going here with this. Okay. Um, the membership or the rough draft patterns, you'll need a membership account. Uh, they don't have downloadable PDFs or video tutorials or anything like that, so it's very cut down. Um, they might, they should have a picture, each one, but that's pretty much it. To get to them on the website, you'll if you go to the home page once you're logged in, so if you go to membership members.clubcrochet.com, once you are logged in, you should um, be able to see... Uh, it's there. There's like a little slider that says um, new things you might like, I, I think, and it's in that slider. You can also go to clubcrochet.com/roughdrafts, and it should take you to the rough drafts also that way. I'll, you know, I'll I'll have to add in the browse section uh, a little button that can take you to the rough drafts. So I'll I'll work on that. Um, on adding that this week so that it's a little bit easier for people to get to Yeah, and the rough drafts Likely will be changed. So that is something to keep in mind when you go to the rough drafts Oh, do you hear that? Wow Pippity poppity. Okay. Um, SSSS asks, um, can you get the dwarf stitched rules by becoming a Club Crochet member? That's a good question. Unfortunately, no. Uh, stitched is a the game. Um, the dwarf rules for there are playtest rules, so you need to become a Louis Loops Patreon supporter for that. Um, it's a it's a different project just in general. So Club Crochet is all about patterns, whereas Louis Loops is about playtesting that. Um, so if you want those, you only it only costs I think one dollar a month, maybe two dollars. I don't know to get access to the playtest rules. But so it's really cheap. Um, but if you go to LouisLoops.com, you you can learn more there. But it's not available for Club Crochet members. That is a uh, Patreon thing instead. And the reason that I do that is because I don't want to make it so it's just crochet. I kind of want other people to make it in different kind of techniques, too. Is my idea there. Um, so now we've got to make a crown. With our gold yarn. We need a little bit of red yarn. Do we have any red yarn? We got this. We can use that. And put this yellow yarn to the side for right now. Looks like we're getting quite a mess down there, but oh well. All right, we're gonna chain five. We need a little bit of a longer end here. The only angel girl, so long, farewell. Thank you so much for joining. Stranger Danger, the music is interesting. Are you only are you playing only game music on here? Uh, yeah, I kind of do only play game music, and the reason I only play game music is because I don't get um, copyright 
things. So uh, when sometimes when I use music that's not video game music, I'll get a uh, like in trouble, and they'll take they'll take the ad revenue for it. But for some reason, you can get away with video game music. I think it's because you can live stream video games. So. Yeah, so I try to do more video game music. Plus, video game music is nice because there's no, no words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really pushing a lot of stitches into one place. Okay, and then. Okay. Get a red yarn here. I should do a video showing a bunch of different ideas for crowns. I, I have a lot of hat tutorials, and I think it'd be fun to do like continue that series of how to do little tiny hats with crowns. And I want to do that sailor hat. Obviously, we can do this worker feet cap stuff like that. All right. Should be the end of that round. Next up. Oh, easy. Okay. Let's see, Shane the first. Walk this red yarn. We cut both those ends close. There we go. Nintendo should sponsor me. God, wouldn't that be cool? They, You know, back in the day, um, I would say like four or five years ago, Nintendo actually reached out to me. They liked the little crocheted stuff I was making, specifically like little Pokeballs and stuff. So they reached out and they sent me a Nintendo Switch. Or not Nintendo Switch, uh, a, D, a 3DS that was Pikachu. It had Pikachu on the outside. And they sent me a bunch of games. I got... Um, I got... Uh, Omega Red and Ruby Sapphire or whatever early uh, and the idea there was like if they send me all this stuff I'll start doing more stuff okay um, I'll crochet more Nintendo themed stuff but then I ended up eventually getting a cease and desist by Nintendo or something so then I was like okay well it was very nice of you to send me this stuff but then you tell me not to make videos for you I don't know why you're doing that I don't know it was weird yeah don't forget your stitch marker sometimes it can get really confusing without a stitch marker and you get really lost it was really cool though it was probably the coolest thing ever to like just get recognized for that and like them to send me a message and say like hey we love what you're doing we've we're sending you a bunch of stuff i was like what and i got the game the pokemon game early that was so cool it was like a month early i got the pokemon game that was really cool that was really really cool so i sent them a bunch of crochet things to say thank you it was like some place in la I think what happened was my con my contact with them was uh, I think he quit and then I like I didn't I didn't have anyone to reach out to anymore. But I did go to a few Nintendo parties at like VidCon, which was pretty neat. Um, I actually went to one Nintendo party at VidCon where uh, they were doing, it was when Mario Maker was coming out. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think, that's pretty cute. Let's do a, that's pretty cute. But we're gonna do it, okay, let's look at that. And I'm gonna leave a long end because I need to sew this onto the head. 
but I there was like a tournament like at this at this party it was with a bunch of YouTubers um, a bunch of video game YouTubers specifically so people that played games like Smosh Games was there and um, uh, um, what's that one Game Grumps and stuff like that and the game the you had to beat some levels in Super Mario uh, in in Mario Maker and the day before, I had watched the tournament of people doing this, and they were playing the exact same levels as we were playing in the thing. And it was like, first one to finish these levels wins. So I uh, I knew all the tricks. So I kicked butt. I, like, wrecked <laughs> in this. And I was like, I, I won by, like, like 15 minutes or a half an hour. I, I beat the beat the levels. Uh, and I've, I'm just pretty used to playing Super Mario World, so I, was, I just know how to do it. Uh, and I won this cool little pin. It was like a 100-year anniversary pin. Um, it's somewhere in here. I don't really know exactly where it is. But the best thing to me was that I got to brag to a bunch of these, these game channels about winning. I'm like, oh, you guys play video games for a living. I don't even do that. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It I, I it was really cool, and I'm still friends with Smosh Games. Still, um, Anthony and and Ian are are still buds. I would say. I see them. I used to see them every year at at VidCon, but obviously this year there was no VidCon, so we couldn't couldn't go this year. All right, so now. Okay. One, two, three, four, six. Wow, 145. We're at 145 likes. That's pretty good. And still, there's still 60 people watching? You guys rock. Do I play Mega Man? Um, I've played some Mega Man. I haven't played very much. Uh, I I really want to get like do like a whole. Uh, what 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 do you what's the, like the best Mega Man? What's your favorite Mega Man to play? Because I would like to play it. Um, I just haven't done much of it. Um, Lot. Lot Dan Boon um, says, and I'm just going to read out your comment so if anybody is watching later on in the video. Um, she says that she's new to crochet. She's making a cube, but when it's complete, uh, when you complete around, you mark the first stitch. It keeps moving up a bit, and now the start point is on a different side than when I started. What am I doing wrong? You're actually not doing anything wrong. That's just kind of how single crochets work. Um, they kind of slowly take your stitch and they kind of pull it off to the right. So eventually, here, I'll actually, you can see it on, on this. So if I follow this up around, every time I go up, you'll see it starts to go up. It goes like diagonally. It like lines up like this. And so eventually, you're gonna have it on the other side of your, your piece. Uh, it's just kind of how the stitches work, so you have to either um, plan that accordingly by by working uh, by working those like uh, just just plan to have your rounds moving over a little bit. Um, but yeah, usually it does work in that spiral. So you're not doing anything wrong. It's just the way that stitches work. And if you want to learn more about how um, stitches work. I actually did a video where it, it explains how to uh, combat this, especially with color changes and stuff. Uh, and you can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash color and then the number two. Uh, and I have a video tutorial there where I explain how color changes work, um, which I think is pretty useful for understanding that um, what's going on with exactly what you're talking about specifically. Okay. Da, 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 da. Do I know the specific member, uh, 
the specific measurements for the fungaloid spore things. Let me see here. Looks like it goes, um, yeah. Okay, ready? I'll tell you, I'll tell you the exact pattern as I'm going. This is gonna be tricky because I'm gonna be crocheting while I'm telling you the pattern, but I think I could do it. Okay, so it's, uh, it's magic loop, single crochet six into the magic loop, and then single crochet increase repeated three times which will bring you up to nine stitches around. Then you single crochet around in each stitch for one round. That's for, let's see, we got round one, two, th for round three, you single crochet into each stitch around. Then for round four, you're gonna decrease back down to six stitches. So you'll single crochet once and then invisible decrease once. And you'll repeat that three times, which will bring you back down to six stitches. And then for the next round, you're going to single crochet into each stitch, but working into the back loops only, which makes a little tiny uh, bar. You see it right there. Um, and then you single crochet into each, and then you just do single crochet into each stitch for however many rounds you want to make it how whatever height you want. Looks like these tiny ones are about four, three rounds long. This long one, it looks like it's around like eight or nine rounds long. Ho hopefully that helps. <laughs> I saw I saw Victoria say that she's making garlic bread right now, and I thought, you're crocheting garlic bread right now? <laughs> what a dummy I am. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. I don't think I messed up this round at all as I explained all that. You can see my brains, my my crochet brain working. It's like, it's like my left side of my brain is making me able to crochet and then my right side of my brain is letting me able to talk or something. I don't know, but a lot of practice there. Um, Yes, oh, Pico, yes. Okay, so Pico says, oh, hey, Louie, I was wondering, is there a place to contact if you find a bug on the Club Crochet website? Yes, there is. Just email me directly. It's louie at clubcrochet.com. Uh, louie at clubcrochet.com. Please send me any bugs. If you find any bugs on the website, just send them directly over to me and I'll get them fixed up. Um, I That's one of the things that the money goes into. Uh, from people supporting videos like this or becoming memberships, they go into paying a, uh, I have a, a friend that helps me out with little fixes on the website. So yes, send me an email, please. Dominica asks, will you save this live? Yes, each live stream is saved um, for, I, I make it, I, I keep it, uh, uh, I keep it up for um, a month uh, public right now all of them are live you can watch any of them but I'm going to start making them unlisted after a month maybe two months and uh, and then you can watch all the old ones I have a playlist available on the YouTube channel so if you just go to the YouTube channel you can see a playlist of all the live streams so short answer yes it will be saved okay so I did my two rounds there and now we can change now we need to change colors Yeah, yeah, seriously, send me, uh, send me a thing. Also, crazy stuff. First off, that's your first chat. Thank you so much, crazy stuff. Uh, and also, they say, uh, get me to 200, get it to 200 likes. Yeah, do it. We're at 155. That's pretty up there. I don't think it'll get to 200, but it would be very cool if it does. Oh, man, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Sekolstice? I think I said your username right. 
asks, do you have any tips for beginners? Uh, I started crocheting, I started yesterday and I'm already obsessed with the channel and work. First off, I want to say thank you so much and welcome. Uh, you, welcome to the crochet community. You are embarking in a really cool craft and I'm really, really, really excited for you. Uh, so first off, that's awesome. Congratulations. Second off, um, yeah, I think the best way, the best thing I can do to help you start is exactly what Mel Bell just posted in the comments. Um, it's a whole video, I have a video series and ebook that's completely free um, that is specifically made for beginners. It's called Crocheting 101, How to Crochet for Complete Beginners. Uh, and it's a free video series and the video series, it's free video series and ebook that work together so you can learn in any way that you want to. You know, if you're like someone that learns a little bit more visually, then you have the videos. Um, you also have photos in the ebook uh, and stuff like that. So that is the, the best way I can help you uh, when you're a complete beginner like that. Uh, and there's, it's filled with tips. And the really cool thing about it is that the series takes you um, stitch by stitch. So you learn, it, it goes through 10 chapters and each tap chapter teaches you a little bit more, um, a little bit more in depth about a new stitch or a new technique. So it goes like, here's how to crochet in the round, here's how to crochet uh, this specific stitch, stuff like that. And then after chapters, you actually make projects that uses the techniques that you've learned uh, and puts them into practice so you actually get to make something as you're, as you're learning. So it's kind of a way to, and look at this tangled mess I just made though. Um, so it's kind of a way that you can, you can learn as you're, uh, and, and actually see your progress as you go. Wow, look at this mess. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna cut this, I'm just gonna cut this one. It's too messy. If I can even get it untangled, oh my goodness. What did I do? Oh, I'm just tightening it tighter. There we go. <coughs> All right, I think I can just pull this up now. There we go. Oh wait, why'd I cut that? Oh, I'm stupid. That was really dumb of me. I think I can get one more stitch out of this. That's okay, I think I fixed it. Don't you go anywhere. There you go. Stitch. Ah, there we go. That yarn wanted to get away from me. <laughs> I was like, no. Problem solved. Yeah, I was not, I was not able to untangle that Mel Bell. <laughs> I was not. JQX Lut is also making a bumblebee. Heck yeah. Bumblebee gang. Just me, you're funny, says I'm a bit busy this week, but I still made it to the live stream. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I, I'm saving. So SS, SS says, can we make a fungaloid for the live stream? Yes, we can. I'm saving that for November. So we're going to be doing a bum or a. Uh, we're going to be doing more mushrooms in November. Just like it's not just going to be fungaloids. I think we're going to be just doing a bunch of different kinds of mushrooms. I got really obsessed with mushrooms in the spring. I started making like just tons of mushrooms. 
so I want to kind of share those and use them, whatever. Now it looks like we got a round of just single crochets in black, and then oh, then we start shrinking down already. Okay. Cool. What's our time like? Let's see. Whoa, whoa, we're at two hours. This is gonna be a long live stream. Usually we kind of try to stop stop it around two hours, but I think we're gonna be making it to about maybe even three hours today to finish this queen bee. The queen bee is a little bit longer, um, so it might take a second longer. We're also gonna need to get some red yarn eventually because we need to add a lips, lips. Okay, we got two more. Here, I'm just going to take this yellow crochet around it. Switch over. All right. Let's drink a little bit of coffee there. Mm-hmm. That's the exact idea, Melbell. Mushrooms, because Animal Crossing will start having mushrooms. <laughs> that was definitely the idea. Josie, thank you so much. Josie says it's the first time here and enjoying it. She's crocheting a bunny rabbit as a class assignment. What class teaches you how to make bunnies? That is a really cool class. Um, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoy uh, these crochets. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'll see you later, Lizzie. I know it's a little late where you're at, so thank you so much for watching for as long as you have. One, two, three, four. And then we do six and an invisible decrease. Front. Front. And I think we're going to use a slightly larger um, yarn for our, our eyes for this little queen bee. Four. Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you so much, Dominica. Dominica super chatted. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. Thank you. I owe you a little dance. Let me finish this round really quick. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll think about a little dance. I might have our crocheted friend do dance for you. Three, four, five, six, seven. Why did I do seven? That's not right. No, okay. One second, Dominica. I'm almost done with this round. Thank you so much, though. That's really cool. Toad is making an octopi. One. Greedo from Star Wars. You know, people say Han shot it first, but I think Greedo did it. I think he did. Are you using the, the patterns from, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, What's her name? It starts with an L. Uh, I've done my first collaboration pattern that I ever did was with um, another Amigurumi artist, the one that did the uh, the Star Wars bundles. I've seen them all over the place, um, like their their kits. 
how to crochet Star Wars characters. She was the first person I ever collaborated with. She was very, very nice. All right, so we got one more invisible beacons right here. And then I, then Dominica gets a little, well, we'll be dancing with uh, some crocheted characters. There we go. And let's do um, chain one. I think after this, oh no, okay, we do all yellow. I'll just do one single crochet to keep this black locked in, and we can cut the black. We'll come back to it later. Okay. A little jig, a little dance. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Who who would you like dancing for you? We're going to force a crocheted character to dance because I'm not as good at dancing as these crocheted characters is, are. I would swing dance for you. I know how to do that. This is for Dominica. He's got a pretty good dance, I gotta say. Look, he can dance with these two. <laughs> that was for you. I know, it was dumb. <laughs> Better than me dancing, though. Manominom just dropped by to say hi. Well, thank you so much. Hello. Yes, that's it. Lucy Ravenscar. That's her name. That's her name. She's a very talented amigurumi artist. She was the first person I collaborated with. We made, um, I made a little, uh, lion pin and she made a crocheted lion. It was for, uh, something. I don't remember what. Lil Dirty Socks. Does anybody have any tips? Yes, what she just said there. Um, she, Lil Dirty Socks is crocheting two days ago, struggling quite a bit. Uh, intended to curve inwards. Yeah, so listen to Mill Bell there. We have a Crocheting 101 series called uh, Crocheting 101, and it teaches you how to crochet, and it's very well put together. It's free. It's got video tutorials, ebooks. We actually just got done doing like a whole pretty good talk about it. Um, but I suggest you check it out. I think it'd help out a lot. Dean D Map says, How did you make the spore stand up? Is it pipe cleaner or just stuffing? They're actually not stuffed. They don't have pipe cleaners. They're nothing. It's they're completely empty. They just stand up on their own because they're made with cotton. Yeah, they just stand up on their own. You could put pipe cleaners in it though. That would help you. That would help them stand up a little bit better. Okay, so we've got our round of all yellows done here we're gonna just switch back to black but before I do that I actually want to cut a little bit of this black yarn um, because we're going to need it to make eyeliner for our queen bee you know she needs a little bit of eyeliner of course she's a queen and she needs to look beautiful yeah girls I'm a queen Um, Lil Kitten Lover, <laughs> I like your name, uh, asks, is there going to be more Animal Crossing slash Nintendo themed tutorials coming soon? Uh, uh, I think Inklings from Splatoon would be so cool. Okay, so first off, the answer to your question is yes, absolutely. There will definitely be more Nintendo themed patterns coming out. Um, I also love Splatoon very much so i think splatoon can definitely make a uh an appearance uh maybe definitely like a squid would be really cool um and not just like the one i'm making but like more like a splatoon squid so uh but the answer is yes there should be some soon all right so where was i here five we need to do five and then a decrease two Four and then five. Yes, and 
then we do an invisible decrease. Okay. Did you start late? Have you crocheted something at the start or just crocheting slower this week? Oh, Manam Manam, I crocheted originally. This was our first thing that we made today is a worker bumblebee. Look how cute, look at his little, this is his little lunch bag. He's on his way to work. You see he's got his little hard hat. And then we have our little queen bee that we're working on now. Sorry, he got he kind of got off screen there, so we'll keep him in there. He's so happy, ready to get work. Yeah, the worker bee is very cute. And then I think after this round, I'm adding the face. Like this is good Bumble mu B music, right? I think this this song was exactly what I was thinking about when I chose it, chose this music for this live stream. Switch back to black, and we'll just get started on the next round. Really quick, just so we can cut this gold or this yellow yarn. Pull it out, and we're not going to tangle it up, right, Melbell? I think I did it. No tangles, baby. All right. Let's add a face. Lotta de boon. Oh my gosh, it's past midnight there. Well, thank you so much. Um, cool. I'm glad that that helped out. Let me know. Uh, I, I'm going to be working on a new video soon for how to do um, some, uh, some different methods for doing the magic loop. To maybe make it a little easier so keep a lookout for that as well um, but thank you so much for joining thank you um does it look like i'm looking at the chat because that was the goal here of switching the camera around like this i don't know if it worked but that was the idea there we go earthquake okay now we're adding our face of our queen bee and it looks let's see where did i put our face there okay Looks like we got one, two, three rounds up. Like right there. And then. Right there. Let's see how this looks. That's actually. That looks pretty good to me. Let's add the mouth before we lock in the eyes so we don't make the same mistake that we did last time. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do for the mouth is I'm gonna do it in like black. I think it needs to go like this. See how that looks. Looks like we need to bring down one of the eyes or bring up one of the eyes. I think we'll bring up this eye up to here and see how that looks. Yeah, that's a little bit, 
That makes the mouth look a little bit more even. And then I'm gonna do lipstick on the mouth. And we want to add some eyeliner to the eyes. Goodbye, goodbye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Too late to crochet along, but this is cute. Thank you, Lauren, and welcome. Bree. Okay, well, first off, I need to say Bree. Uh, Bree says that she got the pro membership a couple days ago and was wondering how the kits are packed and when do they usually send out. Uh, so the kits get first off, the kits get sent out. Um, at the very end of the month. So um, the next kit will get sent out on August 30th. So uh, if you signed up between August 1st and August 30th, is that's when you'll get the next month's kit. Um, one second. Sorry, I need a red yarn. Um, so that's when you'll get next month's kit. And you, uh, the kits are... Um, how are they packaged? So, so it comes with all the yarn that you'll need, all the stuffing you'll need. It doesn't come with the crochet hook. Um, so if you need a crochet hook, you might need to um, uh, add that and then I can send it with the, the next month's kit uh, if you want. You can purchase it on the website. Um, and the kits, this next month's kit, uh, the kit you'll be getting um, is going to be for beach themed. Um, Oh, and good night, Stranger Danger. Thanks for watching. Uh, so we're going, going to be making a big old sand castle like this. We're going to be making a beach ball. So a sand castle, a beach ball, and for getting uh, the this month's kit, you're also getting a special gift, which is for. I live right across the street from the beach. So what I did was I went and I collected a bunch of sand dollars and just other, there's shells, there's some sea glass. So every kit gets their own little um, beach uh, memorabilia, I guess, or beach item. So like a sand dollar like this. So that is what's going to be in this month's kit. Uh, and it's all gonna be packaged very, uh, hopefully very safely so nothing breaks. Um, currently, yeah, like Mel Bell said, we don't ship internationally, and the only reason is because it co just costs too much for shipping right now. Um, but I am looking into how to fix that uh, very, very soon. So I have a t I have an idea for how to fix that uh, soon. So I'll keep you updated. Uh, I just there's just things I need to do on the website to make it work, and I haven't figured that out just yet. Um, but there will be international shipping soonish. Soon-ish. I'm trying to get it done. I mean, I really I wanted to get it done like three months ago. So you can see I've been like really working at it there. Really trying to get it added. But it just costs so much to ship internationally. Uh, and it the cost depends on where it's being shipped. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to make it so that we can figure out the cost per shipping per international place and then it'll be free shipping to the US and cost for shipping outside of the US. I don't know if this these lips are gonna look right. <laughs> We're gonna find out in just a second because I'm about to add the bottom of it. See how this goes. Actually, I mean that's not too bad. I think if I pull it uh, these these first red ones a little bit tighter. I don't know. Kinda looks like she's got a black tongue or something. Maybe we didn't need the black yarn there. I I, I kinda like the I kinda like it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the red lipstick.
Watch, I'm gonna look at the chat and everyone's gonna be like, no. Oh, oh, okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, see, that's the other problem is that it just takes so long right now to ship outside of the US um, because the US is trying to screw around with the postal service because we're dumb dumbs. But I won't get political. <laughs> But I'm trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. Okay, so now we're gonna add our eyeliner. I'm gonna add the eyeliner before I lock the eyes in so that they're a little bit more, um, so that I can hide it behind the eye. It's actually gonna go right into where the eye is. You know, maybe I should add. Like, see, like that. That's what we're trying to do. Double knot these. Okay. Yes. And yes. Okay. I'm gonna get this eye out. Sorry, I'm being, I'm being very methodical with my embroidery right now, so I'm not paying attention to the chat as much. Two months? Wow, they lost in the mail too. That's rough. That's rough, Acrotic Luna. All right, so we got our eyes, we got our lips. Cruising, baby. She looks so cute. Look at how happy she is. Oh, she's happy. She's a queen. Yas be queen. <laughs> Size being frustrating. There we go. You can see that black from the mouth just barely poking out under the lips, so I kind of want to hide it like that. All right, that's a face. That's a pretty cute face. What kind of Pikmin is my favorite? The purple ones. I like the purple ones a lot, or the white ones. I like the purple ones because they like, they're just so fat. They like their little hairs on their heads. They didn't have the purple ones in the third game, which was kind of a bummer. They replaced it with the black pick, like a uh, like rock Pikmin. Um. Okay, where were we? Do I, am I supposed to add the wings? I am. Okay. So add the eyes, add the smile. Uh, sew on the crown. Let's sew on the wings first and then we'll sew on the crown. So this part. Oh yes, yes, it's a timestamp for the video. Yeah, so in the, th this pattern's a little bit older than the other ones. So in this pattern, I actually put timestamps for every single round. Um, with, and now I don't do that as much anymore because it just kind of gets confusing, I think, um, personally. Go around to this one. 
Yeah, but I used to put timestamps for all my every single round. Now I just do it for each section and for specifically difficult rounds. Uh, I put time codes in the patterns so that you can um, you can jump like directly to a place in the pattern that you need to. All right, so we got one wing. The West Wing. <laughs> Dean Maps asks, what is my Hogwarts house? That's a great question. I am a hardcore Slytherin. It's true. It's true, I'm a Slytherin. And I am not ashamed of that at all. Slytherins are not evil. I mean, some of us are evil, but not all of us. Slytherin is just determined. And I think I think that Slytherins are more creatively inclined. That's what I believe. And I think that's because we have to think create creatively. We're cunning. And cunningness requires creativity. And I mean, of the Hogwarts houses, I mean, Hufflepuff is pretty creative. I'll give you that. Uh, but Gryffindor and Ravenclaw are not creative. Gryffindor? <laughs> Gryffindor? What a bunch of... What a bunch of jocks. Oh, I'm so brave. I'm Gryffindor. <sighs> Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Always taking the house cup from us. Because Dumbledore. Dumbledore loves Harry. You know... You know, it's favoritism. It's favoritism. There we go. We got our wings. We got our face. Now we just need to add this little guy this little crown and then finish up for crocheting there's the back this is the front there we go how dare I oh how dare I oh I just got I just got I haven't checked the chat. Oh, people don't like that I'm Slytherin. Well, I am. Dumbledore? I don't know what house Dumbledore was in. Probably Gryffindor. I mean, the way he's favorite. Gryffindor. Gryffindor, yeah, you got some creativity. I'm not saying the Gryffindors aren't creative. I'm just saying Slytherins are more creative. And also, uh, we are just better at magic, and we're just better in general, so, you know, just get over it. Slytherins are the best, you know, it's just kind of the way of the world. It's just kind of how things are going to work. <laughs> we are great. Harry Potter would have done great things if he was a Slytherin. That's what the, ho that's what the hat says, and I agree. And just like the um, hard hat, we're going to not crochet all the stitches in for this crown. I'm just going to be doing some stitches because I'm not too worried about it falling off the head. We are going to do two stitches in the front, though. Sorry, I haven't checked the chat. 
Did I create... Did I create a house war? I started a house war. No! Harry hates Slytherins. He, does, he doesn't like them. He's not a fan. But, you know, he's just... Whatever. Whatever. Also, Gryffindor. Everybody's Gryffindor. What house is Jules? Jules says that she is a um, Slitherclaw. So she is mixed between Slytherin and Ravenclaw. I think she's more Slytherin than she's letting on, but that's just my opinion. I don't get to make those kind of decisions. I think a lot more people are Slytherin than uh, are willing to admit. Everybody just loves Gryffindor, but I don't know why. Gryffindor is not that great. They're just seen as the good guys. They're not that good. Slughorn. Yeah, see? Slytherins are good people too. We're just determined. All right, so now I am on to a round of all black single crochets. That's easy. I have nothing against a Hufflepuff, except for, except for they're a little bit passive. Yeah, exactly. Gryffindor's got Harry Potter, but Harry was almost a Slytherin too. And then what's after Harry? Ron Weasley. Great. Wow. Swell. I mean, we do have... I, I should be careful about that because we do have Malfoy and it's like... Malfoy's a little baby. A little baby. Malfoy's a brat. Mostly his dad is a brat. Okay, I think we have one more round. Yeah, one more stripe of yellow that we need to make. So where's our yellow yarn? Oh, I put it over here. Oh my gosh, we really are almost at 200. We have 171 likes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can we make it to 200? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If we can, we can. If we can't, that's fine too. It's really not going to be the end of the world. It's the end of the squirrels as we know it. Okay. Switch over. We're doing half color changes now. And we are doing four single crochets and then invisible decrease. Two. Three, four, Malfoy's got too much money. That's what the Malfoy's got. Money corrupts. That's what I think. I think if you got too much of it, it's bad for you. More often than not, it's bad for you. I think Mr. Bezos has a little bit too much and he should share the wealth. Like he'll ever do that. One, two, three, four. And then invisible. Hello, Mo from Spain. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Four more. It's getting tiny now. But we're almost at the end here. I told you we're going to make it to three hours, I think. Two. Maybe not. I am shocked that there are, that you guys are still, still 
sticking around, hanging out with me while we crochet. How fun. Uh-oh. Did my music end? No, we got a little more time left. We got 18 more minutes of music. Probably just single crochet stitches for this next round. On yellow. <sighs> You're liking it. All right. I like you, Evan. You're cool. Also, I like your picture of the guy like, ooh. <laughs> Which stitch? Lauren ha says, whoa, that stitch is confusing to me. Which one? Maybe I could help explain it a little bit. So we're going 15 single crochets with the yellow. Then we can stuff it just a little bitty bit. Sounds like we're in a battle. We're in a battle right now on this music. Oh, you know what? This is the boss battle. Like, big, big boss battle. I'm pretty sure. What happened? Crazy Stuff says, dang it. Manamana. Oh, the black and yellow, like, alternating. Yeah, okay, so I'll tell you, I'll show you that. Um... There's, I have a video tutorial where I explain it a little bit more, Laura. Um, but it's basically to make like really clean stripes between stitches. And um, uh, it, yeah, it's 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 really not that tough though. You know what's funny, crazy stuff? One person disliked the video before the video even started, so that dislike's just been there all along. Eh, hate is gonna hate. What are you gonna do? Um, so basically, here's what I'm doing. I, I single crochet around the black for the end of the stitch here. And by doing these half color changes, you can see how the stitches are really cri crisp. So the stripes of our B are really clean. Um, I have been messing up here in between these rounds because I keep cutting the yarn. But uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's just because I've been goofing it up. Around. I think I might be able to even fix that. But what I do is I slip stitch into the next stitch with my yellow yarn, and then I switch over to black. So I uh, yarn under with black like that, and then I get that on my crochet hook, and I pull that through like that, and then I single crochet into the same stitch that I slip stitched into, but I switch over to yellow. So I switch back under so that yellow's on top of the black, go into the next stitch, pull through with yellow, and then I switch back over to black again like this. Bloop, yarn over with black, pull through with black. And I just do that for all the stitches. So yellow, and pull through with black. And then it makes like these really crisp lines and I just switch that each time. So the next round I'll do black and then yellow, black, yellow, whatever. Actually from here on it's just black, but you get the gist. So one, two, and three. Three. And if you want to see the full tutorial for that, just go to clubcrochet.com slash stripes or stripe. I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but I have a video tutorial where not only do I explain how to do this, but I explain uh, the benefits, the pros and the cons, and um, how they work and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good video, I think. Um, it really helps. One, two... Three. This song is making me crochet faster than invisible bee trees. Okay. Why are people dislike? You know, haters gonna hate. It just happens. It, you can't do anything about it. You just gotta accept it. Two and three. 
Oh, this is the end of our yellow yarn. And then we spit that. Which is nice. I, I really like it when we finish with a color and I don't have to worry about doing color changes like this anymore. Okay. Chain one, and we'll just single crochet into the same one just to lock that yellow into place. Like that, pull that through. Oh, the music's getting so intense now. I'm gonna switch to Animal Crossing music. That okay with everybody? I'm just gonna do that. Boom. There we go. Now we're chilling again. Dude, Aquatic Luna, we can talk crochet all day. All day. Um, someone was asking about stuffing with extra thread, which is actually something that I really enjoy doing too. It's a great way to to limit your waste is you crush is you stuff your piece with um, with all your excess threads but before you do that I suggest stuffing it first with actual stuffing just a little bit because the stuffing fills in all the little gaps okay so I fill in with stuffing just a little bit and then in the center of you're, you're trying to make it so the center of the stuffing is extra threads. So I stuff it first with our our actual stuffing and then I take our excess threads like this and I stuff that in the center. And it makes a lot more dense of stuffing with these uh, this yarn. And we can do, use some of this stuff too. Put it in the side. Ah. Like that. And then we can add some more regular stuffing. Like that. And then... That's true. I could have done Fly to the Bumblebee. Like the entire video is just Fly to the Bumblebee music. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, we're almost done here. The queen bee's looking pretty good. We're gonna continue with our black yarn and we're decreasing down again. So one, two, and then invisible decrease. We're at close to the end, guys. Two, invisible decrease. Then I'm not even going to do our slip stitch end. I'm just going to keep going. One, I think it's one and invisible decrease after that. Yes. Can we turn it up? There you go. I turned up the volume a little bit. I don't know if that's what you were asking. <laughs> you don't want to go to my island. We'll all go to Jules's island. Jules's island's way better. It would be fun though. Maybe we can do that. I'll, I'll ask her if she's interested in that, in hosting an Animal Crossing party. Her island is incredible. All right. And now we can stuff our piece a little bit more. See, we got 15 more likes. If we can get 15 more likes, we'll make it to 200. 
Oh, that's a great idea, Melbell. I think I can get her, uh, her dream code. That's a great idea. I'm sure I could get that one. And then I can, I'll, I'll give a shout out to her dream code. Maybe next live stream. I'll have to write it down. I think this should probably be enough stuffing. We got dance stuffing. That's pretty good though. I like it. Okay. All right, let's do our last round here. Marty G, you are a little late, but that's cool. You're good, man. comment there one second I'll help you out there we go let's cut this yarn we'll sew it up um Manamanam asked Louie if you were to make a little bee no worker accessories into a key ring would there be suggest would you suggest I sew the key ring on for balance where oh so where um I would say right uh um I think you know what's probably your best move is uh to get a string and put a string like straight through so you can see where the best balancing spot is. But I'm gonna guess that it's right in between the wings is probably where you're gonna wanna sew that on. Because you wanna add, or, or maybe even a little bit closer to the top of the head so that it's evenly balanced. I think that's probably gonna be your best option. Pico is back for the last two seconds. All right, so we are sewing this up. One, one, two, like this. go our queen bee is finished we got a worker bee we got a queen bee we got lint everywhere it's gonna make me sneeze but that's okay all right is there a PDF pattern yes there is uh, the PDF pattern is available by just going to clubcrochet.com slash bees with an S. Uh, you can find the tutorials there. You might need a membership account to access the queen bee pattern, but they're also you can also purchase the patterns, and they come with a PDF and a video tutorial. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We got our little worker bee. A uh, great suggestion, by the way, again, um, to Aquatic Luna for the uh, the the... Um, lunch bag, but I love I love the worker bee. I think he's perfect uh, and then the queen bee of course look at how cute she is um, <laughs> Yes, okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching uh, the little worker bee pattern is completely free uh, and then this one is a purchasable pattern, but you can find it uh, by becoming a club crochet member and you can get a free trial with a membership. Um, okay. Well, happy hooking, guys. I'll see you next Sunday. Next Sunday, we will be making a giant bell bag. Here's another giant bell bag. Probably even bigger than this one. It's untied right now. Um, I've been taking money out. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. But we're going to be making this big bell bag with Sir Pearl Grey. That's the plan, at least. Um, don't get mad if we if we mess that up. Um, but yeah, uh, little dirty socks says when she makes change, they tend to curve. How can you fix that? 
Um, crochet a little looser. You might be crocheting it too tightly, so try to loosen up your crocheting. It'll it'll uh, make it so it curves a little bit less. Um, I'll be an I can answer more questions like that uh, later as well. How it's gonna work, um, but we're gonna give it a shot. So, yeah. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Pasta la pizza. Yes, we do only need my nine more likes. If oh, we need eight more likes. If you can get eight more likes, I'll give you 30 seconds. <laughs> Just because, you know, I don't want to push it. And the more likes will come through, and whatever. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate you guys a bunch. Uh, I want you guys to know that. And I'll see you guys next Sunday uh, where we'll be crocheting a big giant bell bag. That pa the bell bag pattern will be available um, for... Uh, early access tomorrow, I think. It depends. I have to stay up really late tonight to finish that pattern, so it might take me a second. I still need, like, some pictures and stuff like that, so it's just gonna take a sec. Um, okay. Yeah. It's, it, it's not gonna happen, guys. It probably won't get 200, but it was really, really close, and we will get 200, uh, throughout the time. Uh, like, cause this is gonna be public and stuff like that, so I'm sure, I'm sure more will come through. Oh man, there's only four more. I don't know if it's gonna happen. That's okay though. Where do I buy my yarn? I get all my yarn. Uh, it I get it all, like, uh, on wholesale. So I I have kits available, um, but it's mostly Lily Sugar and Cream, um, with some line brand. So Lily Sugar and Cream yarn is is uh what I suggest. You can also get kits on the website if you want. Just go to clubcrochet.com/shop and you can find kits there. All right, guys. Well, enough stalling. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Bye. Which one is it? This one. Aha, I did that. I'm sticking in there just to I just I just want to say I think it made it to 200 right there so just barely made it <laughs> that's amazing great job guys great job you guys are amazing <laughs> that's incredible Thank you.